Hey everybody, Climbing Coach Bradley here, and today we're going to be talking about a climbing specific warm up brought to you by Butora Climbing and Climb Strong. Our objective with the climbing specific warm up is to build up to your project level. Today we'll be working with Butora Pro Athlete Carrie Scott. Her project level is V8, so we're going to be talking about how to build up to V8. The first thing we're going to do in step one is to build up to V8 with V1s and V2s. The purpose of step one in the climbing specific warm up is to warm up a wide range of movements at a slower pace. So for Carrie, she's going to climb V1, V2. V1, V2, V2. So during this V1, V2 warm up, you want to think about all the little skill things that you're not able to think about when you're climbing harder boulders. Holding hold softly, pressing into your toes. You may also want to add some different skill movements into your warm up, like drop knees, heel hooks, back steps different skill movements that are going to be necessary later on harder climbs. You can spend a little bit more time because you don't have to worry about trying as hard. Another thing you can focus on, you want to think about all your movements as single movements of your whole body as opposed to your hand shooting out or your foot shooting out and then your body catching up to it. It also warms up all of your joints in a slow manner. The second step of the climbing specific warm up is to climb three boulders that build up to your project level with zero rest. The purpose of this is to get your heart rate up. When you're going through this second stage of the warm up, the purpose is to get your heart rate up with most of your attention focused on a fast pace. Not a pace so fast that you lose form, but you want to keep up a pace to get your heart rate up. After the second round of the warm up, wait three to five minutes to let your heart rate come back down before getting on your two flash boulders. The third step of the climbing specific warm up is to climb two boulders that add up to your project level with three to four minutes rest in between so that you can get some hard movement in on boulders that you feel really comfortable flashing. Climb two boulders that you haven't already climbed so you don't know the movement. So you have to do the pre-climb work, which is sequence. Think about yourself going through the movements. Read the boulder from the ground up, from the top down. Think about where the crux is. Think about where the easy movements are. Think about being strong through the easy movements. Think about being powerful into the crux movement. These boulders should make you think and they should make you try hard, but you should feel pretty much in the 90 to 100% that you're gonna flash. Think about what kind of boulder it is. Is it mostly a strength boulder? Is it mostly a powerful boulder? Are you gonna have a lot of dynamic movement? If you're gonna have a lot of dynamic movement, you want to get a little more psyched, maybe a couple of short fast breaths before you get on the boulder. It's a lot of strength movement. You might want to breathe a little slower. All of these things can be considered during the three to five minutes that you're resting before getting on your two flash boulders. Once you've done all three steps, you should be ready to go project. 